Hey everyone and welcome to The Ship. Okay, today I am wearing this crop top from a company called Zale. It's actually owned by Akil Thomas, who is gonna stop by shortly to talk about his career so far in hockey and entrepreneurship. We are also gonna speak with Bilal about their brand new show, Sort Of, which is hilarious. But first, we're gonna talk about the Canadian storyline that took us on a ride at this year's US Open. Layla Annie Fernandez. Not only is she just a shark when it comes to what we saw from her, the amount of comebacks all tournament long, as an aside though, you know Toronto folk can be obnoxious, so we also got a shout out Emma Raducanu who reps Britain, but she was born in Toronto. Okay, back to Layla. Off the court, the personality, the way she just knows how to work with the crowd. You know, once she dropped that maple syrup line, I said, yeah, she knows exactly what she is doing. I would say it's the maple syrup. <laughs> I, for one, am never gonna understand why we seem to be the only country in the world to get hype over our stereotypes. Like, yeah, moose everywhere. We love the beavers. Maple syrup drop or not, Fernandez had all of Canada rocking with her, and it was just nice to see because her story is that of a first-gen Canadian. Her father, Jorge, an Ecuadorian Canadian, and her mother, Irene, Filipino, which when you have parents that immigrated here, you know that this this is their wildest dream. And as Jorge Fernandez told TSN's Mark Masters, moments like this, you just do not take lightly. And what I'm telling you is that we're an immigrant family and we had nothing. Got in with nothing. So, <coughs> Canada opened up its doors. We have had many contributions from a lot of first-gen Canadians lately. This summer, on the track, women's and men's soccer. Look at a guy like Alfonso Davies. Four million followers on Instagram. In the NBA, Chris Boucher, Lou Dort, Felix Auger Aliassime on the men's side of the US Open, making it all the way to the semifinals. His father immigrating from Togo before meeting his mom. This, this is the Canadian story, often told-ish, but now it is becoming the dominant lead when it comes to success. So take that, racist, because for so long, we've been told that there was only one sport that makes you a legitimate Canadian. And while we love ourselves some hockey here at The Shift, I'm just saying. These first-gen Canadians are changing the game, and we've gotten to a place where in sports like basketball, tennis, soccer, we are loudly a part of the conversation. And what works well here is where they go, audiences follow, and that exposes traditional sports audience in this country to the quote-unquote other list. Not bad, huh? For some immigrants. We talk about it all the time. You come to Canada and there is just this pressure to fit in all unassuming. Well, not anymore. Look at a fan base like Toronto FC's. Pre-pandemic, that fan base was built on the backs of immigrants and first-gen Canadians just refusing to trade in their love of football, but also looking for something local to enjoy. And you know what makes me just so excited about the names that we are becoming very familiar with? Not only are they doing what needs to be done performance-wise, but with most having an understanding of how important it is for people coming from where they came from to see themselves just winning, there comes this level of awareness and urgency to use their platforms to champion causes that are important and meaningful to them. Whether it was Fernandez speaking on her parents working so hard to get her to this point, or Davies never missing an opportunity to speak about being a refugee, Dort, the crisis in Haiti, what comes is also a crop of ambassadors, complex yet layered arguments as to why it's always bigger than the game. 